And here's another way to celebrate red, white, and blue, Tati. Change up your style. Think out of the box when it comes to what you wear on the 4th. And style editor John Jordan joins us live with a look at some unpredictable and stylish ways you can celebrate America. John, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Jason? Good. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, as patriotic as we all are, and when I think of patriotism, I think of 1984 and the Olympics and USA and USA and, you know, Mary Lou Retton and gold medals and all that. Uh, but there is sort of a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Sometimes uh, the red, white, and blue can be cheap cloth and uh, sort of a downscale kind of thing. How are you going to... It can be predictable. Exactly. It be... It's like, of course... Yeah that's that but, but what do you yeah. how, how are and you going to spin I, it I, well i think that um things that scream sort of fourth of july uh you want to sort of limit the dose i have some items here all of these things are from target and they're fun and they're affordable but you know if you have red white and blue uh you know stars and stripes sneakers or espadrilles or things that are you know so, flag based. Um, I think you want to limit the dose to maybe one. Um, but I think that there are other ways to interpret it. I found like this little kitty um, hmm. t shirt, and <clears throat> it's got a red, white, and blue headband on. But that doesn't, that's not Fourth of July specific. So you could wear that, you know, whenever you want to. Um, here's another t shirt. Uh, this is by the artist, uh, the late artist, Keith Herring. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, you know, it's the flag, but it's an artistic interpretation. And then, Jason, we can go where I would go. Um, <laughs> and that's, you, you know, stars and stripes, but maybe, um, you know, a little darker version. I think this is just as p patriotic. It's creative. There's a lot of stars uh, on denim these days. Uh, and actually, John Varvatos, who's a, you know, former Detroiter, he was the one who kind of, uh, you know, started out reinterpreting the flag in different colors. I wear this scarf of his all the time. Um, and then, so it could also be, you know, your traditional red, white, and blue, maybe a pair of uh, earrings, you know, like this, that are, you know, red, and you can or a scarf, but I would like to see people uh, sort of reinterpret what actually red, white, and blue looks like. So it might be, you know, pink and white and blue, or here's a, here's a, a top from Target. It's a hoodie, a sleeveless hoodie, but the red, white, and blue is a little bit different. It's got an ombre effect. So, oh, that's what that's called. Okay, so now, if I'm if I'm reading you correctly, what you're basically saying is is uh, is minimize and diversify. Be subtle about it because you have on this this blue and white shirt. It's got a blue shirt with white stars, and yeah. I'm guessing this before you were to leave the house, since it's going to be sunny and 90 plus out there today, you wouldn't put on a red ascot. You'd probably be more prone to put on a red, pair of red frame sunglasses to go with that shirt. Am I right? Yep. Yeah. Or your red mask. <laughs> I was close. <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs> You're ready for the beach, John. You're actually, I have a, since you're a pool guy. Yeah. I found these at Target for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, one last thing before we let you run. My wife uh, gets, uh, she calls it, if somebody wears like an authentic Tiger's jersey and then the same hat that they wear on the field. You got two things going on here with a pair of jeans and white sneakers. She calls this double trouble and maintains mm -hmm. that it's a fashion faux pas. It's like you've got on half a uniform and then you got your Seinfeld jeans on with your white sneakers. She thinks it looks dumb. Are you saying the same thing? Don't, don't be wearing flag pants with a flag shirt, with a flag hat, with flag Chuck Taylors. That's what you're saying. Yeah, it limit the dose. You take a step back and take one of those things off. That's always a good method. All right. Anything else? To I add? agree with your wife. <laughs> <laughs> John Jordan, thanks. Good to see you. Good to see you. Happy Fourth. You as well. You can get more of John's great ideas on his Style Wise channel on YouTube.
style wise. Sound like Brandon there. From skincare to hair care, makeup advice and more, it's all right there. Just search for John Jordan style wise. Tati.